Some engineers and scientists from Rice University in Houston, Texas have created a way for petrochemical refineries to turn a smelly byproduct into cash. Now, hydrogen sulfide famously stinks like rotten eggs. It's a horrible smell and it's also toxic, corrosive, flammable and produced in large amounts as an expensive to treat byproduct at petroleum refineries. In other words, when we produce gasoline for most of our internal combustion engine powered vehicles, this is a byproduct that is produced. Well, now researchers have found an easy and profitable way to turn that into hydrogen. So currently, the way they get rid of hydrogen sulfide is by heating it up with air to between 800 and 1100 degrees Celsius, then run it through a series of condensers, reheaters and catalytic reactors to convert it into sulfur and water in what's known as the Klaus process. The sulfur is then sold, but because you need to heat the gas so much, it's an energy hungry and expensive process. And because there's still more than a billion cars on our planet that is powered by an internal combustion engine, we won't stop producing gas anytime soon. And with this new process, we can use that byproduct of the production and we can actually put it to good use and produce fuel at a low cost for hydrogen fuel cells and hydrogen combustion vehicles. Anyways, how does it work? In a published study in the American Chemical Society's High Impact Journal, Rice engineer, physicist and chemist Naomi Hallis and her collaborators describe a method that uses gold nanoparticles to convert hydrogen sulfide into high demand hydrogen gas and sulfur in a single step. In addition, this also doesn't use a lot of energy since the one step process gets all its energy from light. So each molecule of hydrogen sulfide gas contains a pair of hydrogen atoms and one atom of sulfur. The new process uses nano-engineered silicon dioxide powder catalyst, each one speckled with nanoparticles of gold. These gold particles respond strongly to a specific wavelength of visible light, shooting out short-lived electrons known as hot carriers, which carry enough energy to split the hydrogen sulfide molecules efficiently into hydrogen and sulfur. The hydrogen can then be used for fuel and the sulfur can still be sold for money. And like I said, it isn't a very energy dense process. In fact, the whole process can be solely powered by sunlight, which is free. So the only cost would be the catalyst. So a win-win, right? Well, some might still have a problem with this technology since the hydrogen is coming from the refining process of fossil fuels. But here's the thing. We can't control or delete all the cars on the planet. They are still there and scrapping everything and starting new would be catastrophic for both the economy and the planet as manufacturing vehicles produce a metric crap ton of emissions and cost a lot of money. So the cars are here to stay and by using this technology we can clean up the hydrogen sulfide gas and produce a clean fuel whilst producing the fuel we would produce anyway. Yes, over time, as we move to hydrogen and electric, we will produce less gasoline, but this will take many, many years. So this is a great way to lower our emissions whilst doing what we would have done anyways. But let me know what you think down below this technology. I think it's pretty damn cool. I think it's really smart. This just shows you how smart the people on our planet is. If you put the right minds behind the right technology, you can get some awesome results. But let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on everything car related and hydrogen related. So if you like either of those topics, go through my channel, see if there's more stuff you like. This video was a bit shorter, but I feel it was still something I needed to make. So if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.